Today, my buddy Matt and I are going to check out our guitars. I have the Kiesel Vader and he has the Strandberg Fusion, yeah. um, but he plays mostly Strandbergs and I got myself a Kiesel. Yeah, I yeah. figure I would explain to you why I picked this choice. Maybe you could explain to us why mm -hmm. you picked your choice. We'll do some comparisons. I'll start with me and then mm -hmm. you, I'll, and you can give me your counter argument. Um, I really thought about getting a Strandberg. In fact, when I bought this, the Strandberg was on the crosshairs. It was yeah. like, it was yeah, like yeah. I was going to buy the Strandberg mm -hmm. or I was going to buy this. And it really came down to two features for me. It was, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was ready to do the Enduraneck, mm -hmm. which if you guys don't know, I'll put a, a picture right now so you can see it. The Enduraneck yeah, yeah. is definitely a, it's a love and hated thing. There's no question yeah. there. Yeah. Right. The other thing is, uh, for me, was, it was the neck. I really like this neck. Uh, it's yeah, more yeah, traditional it's, for me. Yeah, it's yeah. a, it's the tip of this uh, Kiesel. If you guys haven't seen my review, I'll put a link down below. Um, this is stock, and as this guitar sits, which is uh, we'll start there. Mm -hmm. uh, this guitar is sixteen hundred dollars uh, as it sits feature wise mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. with a deluxe gig bag. Yeah, your model was I believe a twenty four ninety five now. And that, and that has a hardtail, not a tremolo, right? Uh, the, does have a tremolo. The, does have a tremolo. The fifteen hundred dollar one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a hardtail. Okay. Yeah. No, so I didn't okay. get a tri yeah, yeah, no you. tremolo option. Like I said, this is yeah, as bones, base bones yeah, models yeah, yeah. they get. Which is another feature. I mean, you could get this custom if you wanted. I and I didn't. Like yeah, it. you can go to the you know so, sky's the limit on those things. So what pickups are in there? Uh, these are sore. No. Yeah. Sir. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it has a U, so I go sewer. But yes, yeah, sewer pickups, uh, and they're fantastic. I'm not exactly sure what model they are. I'm more like a plug-in and play, and sounds good. I like it. Right. Um, uh, with this guitar, I mean, if if you, uh, you go in this route, the, the Strandberg, it, it's the neck. It's all about this endure neck thing, and it was. I was intrigued the first time I ever heard about it, um, and uh, first time I picked one up, I was like, yeah, that, I'm sold. This is a great design. Yeah. Very slight fan fret, so it's 25 and a half to 25 inch. I figured I'd let you play both. We'll do some comparison sounds of both. Both have stainless steel frets. I think we covered yeah. that. Yep. The Kiesel uses Kiesel pickups. Yeah. Which I like. They're all dark sounding. Super cool. Yeah, yeah. One thing I will say about the Kiesel that I, I didn't enjoy, uh, and again, you know, I bought this uh, used, I didn't buy it new, um, is it's six pounds, which sounds like air, right? But it's, but keep in mind, because the body's so small and it's just no headstock, all the weight is really in this one spot. So it yeah. kind of feels weighty. Yours yes. is probably about five pounds? Yeah, probably in the five range. Yeah, this and, one is chambered. The, the This model is chambered. And you can get this chambered as well. I was telling you earlier. Right? So yep. I think if I was to order this uh, for myself, you know, order a Kiesel, I would have mm -hmm. got it chambered because I, yeah. not that six pounds is heavy by any means. It's just, no. when you pick that up, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's like it's striking. It's yes. like when you thought like what? <laughs> is this balsa? Yes. <laughs> this is the helium in here. Yeah. Um. So um let's give it a play, give it a play. Thank you. 
Okay. So I you like see it. that neck, I definitely like that neck. It feels more traditional. This neck, yes. so you know, I really do like the Endura neck. I, I, I always have. The, holding this guitar, it feels more comfortable to me than that guitar. Mm. Um, I think it's because it's design, right? The design of it right. is more, yeah. I don't know, ergonomic because it's smaller here and bigger here. It just feels, yeah, it, yeah. you know what's funny? That's a bigger guitar. This feels bigger than that guitar, though, when you hold it. This, yeah, this thing feels, yeah, yeah. Tiny, right? Tiny, but it's great. it feels really good, really good. Yeah. It's probably because this horn goes up higher, so I feel like I have more of it underneath uh, my yeah, arm. That's true. I really dig this. I love the look of that better, even though that looks like the more strand, uh, Steinberger, mm -hmm. you know, 80s oh, look. Right, right, right. Uh, these always look like a puzzle piece to me. I always feel like they do. Like <laughs> they should go. Um, and, and and I don't dislike that, by the way. I just yeah, yeah. prefer that look yeah, yeah, of yeah. it better but man this is a a beautiful guitar yeah um, they're but they're both great guitars this 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 this, this is very nice here yeah having I mean, it's nice there yeah too. yeah they do this bolt on but yeah the, um, having the like neck through the and the carb the way here. This, that's nice yeah, yeah super nice they're both great guitars and so this one was about a thousand less than that one yeah, if you bought that new yeah about that yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. so that's for a thousand dollars less and made in yeah. usa it's funny, it kind of makes me wish, remember when Strandberg started out? He started out with just licensing the, the yeah. neck. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, yeah. You, you could make us a, 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 the Endura neck yeah, yeah. and you'd buy the, uh, I think the instructions off of him. Yeah, whatever, I don't right? know if he'd send you the CAD files or what. He would, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, it kind of makes me wish like he would just do a deal with like companies like, yeah. you know, like yeah, uh, yeah. Kiesel and stuff and just let them make an Endura neck. Yeah. I think quality wise, I think they're on par with each other. The Kiesel, of course, having the neck through is just a really cool feature. That's nice. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. One thing I will tell you um, is this definitely feels more like a traditional guitar. Still, I can say, or if I wanted a Strandberg, this doesn't kind of fit that hole. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, oh I got right? you. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. like I said, the fan frets, the weird Endura neck thing, yeah, it's right. definitely cool and different. Thought it'd be cool, give you some insights of what we liked and didn't like about each one. As always, guys, I want to thank you. I want to thank Matt again for coming over. Thanks and, again. Thank you. And thank you guys for hanging out with us. Until the next time, know your gear.